Hello and welcome back to my channel, Al Abrar Apple Farm Diary. The channel where we are sharing our story on Wambugu Apple Farming in Zaria, Northern Nigeria. So if you are new on in this channel, you are welcome. I'd like you to subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video with as much people as you can in order to spread the message of apple farming in Nigeria. So if you are a, an old timer in the channel, you are welcome back. I'm sure you have gone through a number of my videos that I've put out there. And if you can remember in some of the videos, earlier videos, I did mention how I'm trying to propagate the Wambugu apple rootstock. And uh, I promise to bring you a video update on that. So today's video is going to be on that. And <clears throat> excuse me, here I uh, trying to show some little results that I'm beginning to have with the propagation. So one will wonder why would you want to propagate the rootstock? Why not just buy the apples and uh, plant and that's all? Now, I think there are two or three answers to that. Number one is, uh, yes, you can buy the grafted apples. That was what I did. And uh, of course, I lost some of them because of reasons that I've uh, already done videos about, which I'll put the links up here for you to see if you have not watched those. So I realized that if you're going to do this on a very large scale, okay, trying to buy the seedlings one after the other can uh, become, uh, you know, quite a significant financial challenge. For instance, the Wambugul apple is sold at ten dollars per seedling from the Kenyan uh, farmers themselves. So, but if you are not in Kenya, you're in a country like Nigeria. Uh, in recent times, the naira has been on a free fall, you know, relative to the dollar, and the cost of ten dollar, you know, keep getting greater and greater by the day in naira terms. So if you are aiming to get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand trees, you can see that uh, you will be ready. You should be ready to cough out millions of of naira just to get the seedlings. So I reckon that you know, <clears throat> getting the rootstock and you know, producing the seedlings myself will be the uh, better solution for a longer term uh, project that I'm trying to embark upon. Uh, and not only that, the Kate Wambugu, I personally contacted her and uh, she made me made it clear to me that they do not sell cuttings of their rootstock or the Zion. So uh, that's their company policy. And if that's the case, it therefore means that uh, you are only, only able to get the seedlings from them. So I started to try to propagate from the seedlings that I have. Because the root stock is the most important. Uh, the Zion, you can always get Zions from your plants that are growing, but you need to get the root stock. Because if the if you do not put the root stock, the right root stock and the right Zion, you're not going to get the right apple. So I tried a number of methods to try to propagate, and uh, two methods basically I tried. The first one failed. This group of uh, you know cuttings you are seeing here were among the first batch that I tried I actually had to sacrifice one apple and use try to cut the rootstock into four different cuttings and then planted them what I did think I did wrong in that was uh, I initially put them on a pot and then covered it with a cellophane uh, transparent cellophane and I uh, think over a week a little over a week a lot of moisture built up inside and they begin to more or less they drowned that's what I'll say and the the woods lost their green uh, texture and all that so after two weeks uh, basically I concluded that that method failed 
and then I try to do it in a different way. And this time around, I try to just do it in an open uh, container like this one you are seeing here. And what I had to do again was to take yet another apple seedling. And this time around, I went just below. This is the actual apple plant. Okay. This plant, this one, was the actual Zion part of this one okay was the zion part of this one so i went below the 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 grafted part which you can see here i don't know if it is clear enough so you can see that here is the there's a v-shaped uh grafting that was done here where this is the zion and this is the upper part of the rootstock so i severed the upper part of the rootstock below the graft from this plant here and then applied rooting hormone which i have shown in one of my earlier videos you can watch it on the link above and replanted it with the root stock parts to the to the soil so that it should reroot at that point and then continue its growth from the zion part and thankfully i'm beginning to see a growth here and this is just barely two weeks after i did this so i'm beginning to see a new leaf shoot from this side and that is evidence of the fact that the root uh, is beginning to form okay they may be very tiny at this level but the root is beginning to form so once your cuttings are beginning to develop leaves it's evidence of new leaf formation new root formation so what this means is that i will be able to get a new plant out of this that has rootstock and the zion and the the rootstock here will develop the root and the zion will continue growth from here and then the original rootstock where i took it from where i took the cutting from from above here you know also was planted and it also now beginning to develop leaves new leaves here you can see and another leaf on this side so the what this means is that this plant now is pure rootstock plant okay pure rootstock so i'm going to leave it for a few more weeks inside this place and continue to nurse them and see get this to develop and then transfer it to uh, another pot and eventually i will have to plant it on the ground so that it will have proper place to fully grow develop into branches and then from its branches we're going to be getting cuttings which are going to use this method to repeat and get them to root and then have several new plants of the rootstock now when you use this method of propagation to propagate plants what you actually end up getting is the exact cloned copy of the parent plant that you used unlike when you try to propagate with seed with seed you get yes the plant but with some genetic variability from the uh, from the parent it may not be genetically exact it may be similar but with this method you get exactly the same kind of plant so what we are going to have here is going to be and uh, mind you the wambugo apple rootstock is the m9 variety of apple the m9 variety of apple is going to this is pure m9 now pure m9 is going to grow out of here and then from it we're going to have more and if one is really aiming to uh, go big with this you have to just develop your own organized way of getting your seedlings and then nursing them and eventually putting them out on the in the field to grow into the apple plants that you want to be getting fruits from subsequently okay so this all these other ones are also rootstocks but i'm yet to see any sign of 
uh, any leave formation and them also so but uh, it's too early sometimes they will not all do it at the same time so we we'll continue to nurse this and watch and see how uh, it goes so this is the update i have on the propagating of the rootstock and uh, i'll keep giving you updates on how this plant is doing particularly and uh, hope uh, to see you in the next video where i want to talk about the value chain the wambugo apple value chain businesses that one can consider in nigeria see nigeria is a very big economy uh, bigger than kenya bigger than uganda bigger than tanzania put together so uh, nigeria cannot be left behind in this project and uh, we are committed to you know using ourselves as the guinea pig and putting out the information out there for whoever wants to get inspiration you know to derive that inspiration and see where he or she can also plug in in this uh, venture uh, we cannot wait for government as i've said in my previous videos you see private sector driven economy is what we get us out of the quagmire that we are in and uh, people must begin to look inwards and see you know what we can begin to do and 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 help ourselves in this country so thank you very much for watching this episode and uh, god willing i'll see you in the next and uh, keep farming and sharing the message